Hey developers, today we are looking at five JavaScript projects that you may wanna learn here in 2021. And I have a bonus. If you stay all the way to the end, there's two resources that you should really know if you're interested in learning more about JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and it'll help you find projects that you can use to help you learn. Now, if you're anything like me, you like to build things and you like to learn. So I thought this video would be perfect. I'll show you some projects that you should be learning in 2021. Some things might be obvious to you, but some things I think you may not have heard of before or you may not have thought of. So the ultimate goal of this video is just to show you some cool projects. So yeah, let's just jump onto into it. All right, so the first project I think you guys should look at in 2021 is to create a personal blog. Now, you're probably thinking, I already did that, I did that five years ago, but let me tell you a few things why you should actually update it. So here is my personal blog. I actually did this a few years ago and you can see it's pretty outdated. It doesn't look that great. All it is is just a list of blogs. So I went around and I tried to do some research to find some other blogs that are much better than mine and get some inspiration from them. So the first one here is Kent C. Dodds. If you don't know him, he's basically the React, a React genius, he does a lot of stuff on React testing, and he has a bunch of JavaScript courses. But one of the reasons I really like his blog is because it's just so simple and it makes sense. So you can see right here, you can see his face. I think that's a definite plus anytime you try to create a personal blog put your picture somewhere on it. People want to see your picture. Then he has like links up here of what you would probably expect from a personal blog. He has his blog, but he has workshops, his podcast, courses, Discord, and about. He actually has his own Discord. I mean, this is a lot of great information. And I think just, it's just really simple, but just really clear and to the point. I would say this is a great recommendation of a blog that you should follow. And I believe this is open source too, and you can get his code on how he created this blog. Another really great example of creating a personal blog is Tanya's here. Has has her blog here, it has some articles, guides, has her picture and about me, even has like a little secret link right here to change it from dark to light, which is really cool. So the reason I like this blog, once again, it's very simple, but it gets to the point and it has a lot of information on it. Now, one thing I would add to both of these is if you're a brand new developer, having a portfolio section and then listing your portfolio. But one thing I'd like to say too, I really like these type of blogs better than the ones that have tons of CSS and it's like a, like a game or something. I think that those are just overboard. I'd rather have a portfolio section that lists different projects I've worked on with source code than something that's a little too much. So if you already have a blog here in 2021, it's no better time than ever to redo it, especially using technologies like the Jamstack or making it static site generated or just, yeah, just put some more effort into it. That's what I'm gonna do. So that would be the first project of 2021 I would suggest to do. Oh yeah, and if you're looking for other really good blogs, I'll put a link here. It's a GitHub repository. It just people's blogs and you can just click on them and you can just take a look at them and kind of get some inspiration from how other people are doing it. Okay, so the second idea I have, a JavaScript app, and I'll put a link to all these in the description below too, is to create like a movie finder or a TV finder. In fact, I actually created this exact app, a very basic version of this exact app on my last video where I did it with Vue.js 3 and used render functions. For example, you can put in anything uh, you want in here. Like let's say uh, gray, let's say you're putting grays. And here's Gray's Anatomy right here. Gray's Anatomy B Team. I mean, it has a list of all the different uh, TV shows. I can actually make this a lot better if I wanted to click on each one of these and be able to bring up each one of them. I can even do some URL parsing. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do in this, but I mean, at the at the least, you're contacting an API, you are displaying images, you're probably using something like Flex or Grid to show it all, you're using inputs, you're creating forms. So I like this idea of creating this. Another great example is to create like a movie finder app. And by the way, like once again, I'll make sure I link to these and their source code is available for all these examples. Like this one, you can just search for popular movies. Like if I type in justice, just list them all. This also has some nice animations. And if you click on any of them, you get a whole bunch of information about that movie, which is great. And look, they even, this one's even awesome, even more, uh, more information. You can even get every single actor's portfolio information, have their rating, the budget, revenue, really, really cool. This is all done in React here. Here's another one. This is written in React, but it's very similar. Click on it. You get all the actors. You get a ga This even has like links to YouTube videos and galleries and recommendations. This would be really cool. Just getting contacting with an API and then 
just displaying the information. Another really cool example of a project you can do in 2021 is everyone's on Zoom. So try to create a Zoom clone. Uh, I'll put a link to here. There's a bunch of open source Zoom clones on GitHub I was looking at. They're all really basic. I mean, essentially, as long as you can get a, your video up and someone else's video up, you've essentially created a Zoom clone but you can make it much more complicated if you want. I would highly recommend check out Web Dev Simplified. I'll put a link to his video. He actually created one in a video that actually is pretty popular. It has over, over 400,000 views, but it's a really cool project. A lot of people are interested in doing this. And yeah, check that out if you're interested. I like this idea is to create a fitness tracker. And once again, here's the source code. This one's nice. You can do cycling, running, swimming. You can put the distance that you ran in and then it graphs it for you. This is another example of like try to create a fitness tracker that you can go log in to every day, either with a login and password or without one and see if you can get a graph going. And this, this example, this uses D3. So like that's a perfect way to learn D3 or whenever another graphing type library, library is just by creating like some kind of fitness tracker or weight tracking goal. That's another really good one. Another, another one I would say is, and I'll refresh this, is create like a chat app. And you can see in this example, this is using WebSockets with socket.io. It's really, really simple to start off with sockets and you can get some pretty advanced, uh, you can get pretty advanced with it. So this is a perfect example. Socket.io has been around for a long time. I was doing articles on it about five years ago, but learning how to use sockets is another like step into learning more advanced web development techniques. Maybe even try to look at WebRTC or something like that. Now uh, I have to refresh the browser, I guess, in this one. I'll put a link to this. It's uh, ex experimental on Code Sandbox. But oh, here it goes. So now I can put in a chat. If I give this URL to someone else, they could chat and we can do it like a little chat message back and together. It's really simple to put together. I think it's a fun project and worth doing. That is all five of my examples of projects you should learn in 2021. But if you stayed all the way to the end, I really appreciate it because I have two, actually three bonus websites that you can check out. So first I'm gonna give a shout out to Florin. I mentioned him before. He created this amazing repo that has hundreds and hundreds of app ideas. I got some inspiration from some of these on this website. So check this out. You can go in there and just search and be like, what is an app I could create? And really the, the idea behind all of this is just so you can learn and hopefully have some fun at the same time. And these last two are amazing. Uh, what you can do is go into codesandbox.io slash search and then search for an app that you want to create, like a chat application or maybe a movie app, just type it in and you will literally see hundreds of examples of people who have created a similar app and with the complete source code and it looks pretty good. Like this one is a movie one. I can just click on it, it'll bring it up and it will uh, take a second to load. Looks like this is done with, looks like it does, this is done with React, but you can see how other people had did it and just kind of get an idea of, of how they're doing things. Another great one is CodePen. So you can do the same thing, just type in a topic or a, an app idea that you have and see if someone's already created something for it. Once again, here's like a movie one. You could see here, you can see the graphics, you can see how they're doing it. Uh, some of them are responsive. So that's another great, great way. So I'd use Code Sandbox and CodePen. Just search for app ideas on there and you can kind of get a lot of inspiration and maybe even just copy and paste it if you're creating a, a similar project. So that's it today. Uh, this was a really simple, uh, I guess this was a shorter video on just on the, all the different technologies that you can use and all the different websites and all the different things you can do to create uh, some JavaScript apps. Let me know in the comments below if, uh, if there's some resources that you use or some projects that you think would be really fun to do in 2021 uh, and let me know. Thanks.